People over the last couple of months have been talking about how life seem, uh, seems so slow these days. Like a weight's been put on all our backs, making it impossible to run. At least for me, life has not slowed down in any particular way. It's just lost its direction. Just run straight forward on a track, or go back and forth in the gym and end with the same speed. The same can't be said for velocity. The world is operating at the same speed. We've all just lost our direction. In the before times, every day I would wake up with a clear sense of what I was going to be doing that day, and a relative assurance that I was going to finish those things. Now, now I wake up with no particular plans. I have no structure. Any attempts to impose a structure onto myself inevitably fails. I know nothing that I do will matter, at least not in any effective way. Sometimes I zone out. Like, the other day, I think I spent about half an hour brushing my teeth. When I finally got to, uh, got to spit, normal muted white color was replaced with a vibrant red. My gums now hurt. Thing is, when you're bleeding from your mouth, there's nothing you can do. It's not like you need to put a band-aid on, and any painkiller you try just makes it worse. That sickening feeling of puking out the blood you passively swelled the night before, it's on those mornings that, uh, that I'm kneeling in front of my toilet and spinning out that maroon vial. For some reason, that's when I feel most alone. My teeth are now stained red, and I can't bring myself uh, mm -hmm. to brush them again. And looking at them in the mirror somehow makes me feel even more alone. So does complaining about them. And so does pretty much everything else. Of course it's not the one who's just getting to me. I mean, after all, I have access to the entire world at the convenience of a single click. I can get on a Zoom and talk to all my friends. A little 45 minute oasis. And it's not even like I went out much when I could. My entire life should have prepared me for having to live for myself for this long. And somehow, I still feel the way I do. Maybe I'm brushing my teeth as a way to make myself more appealing to the outside world. After all, my subconscious can't understand why I'm standing six feet away from my girlfriend, and it's reacting with its previously learned ways of handling the situation. Maybe if I have the most clean teeth, people will love me again. After all, your brain does pretty funny things when left unsupervised. But perhaps it's not the loneliness that's making me spiral, but complete boredom. It's the law of diminishing returns. When you spend all day watching movies and playing video games, neither is as fun as they used to be. Nothing is really fun. Everything gets onto an even playing field. Do I have a new activity for you? Woo! Brush your teeth! It's fun! Try it! Oh, oh, you think it's gonna be easy? Well, let me see you get those back ones. <laughs> When the highlight of your week becomes brushing your teeth, yeah, you know something's wrong. Sharing these thoughts, there's an implicit guilt. I am complaining about getting to stay home and isolated. Like, imagine an impoverished kid in Johannesburg listening to this shit. Or not even that far. A doctor in Atlanta. I am complaining about getting to stay in. But it's not like the knowledge that other people have it worse than me makes me feel any better. It only compounds that sinking feeling. Like... For even uh, those of us who have it best off, this undoubtedly sucks. Anyway, this video was just essentially an entitled fat white guy complaining about how quarantine is hard. A growing subgenre these days, and typically within the complaint cast subgenre, the complainer provides the audience a solution at the end of the video. In this, I have nothing real to offer. All I can say is thank god this happened in spring. Like in Brothers Karamazov, there's this really great moment in which the religious brother asked the atheist one how he can live on without any clear meaning. And the atheist one's simple response is it's the sticky leaves of spring. I like that. See, COVID's taken a lot from us, but it can't take away those simple little pleasures in life. Those moments in which you can almost convince yourself that this isn't happening. Corona can't take away the sticky leaves.